Hello, and welcome to this introductory video on P6 Work Breakdown Structure, or WBS for short. A WBS is a means of breaking down a project into a hierarchy of manageable deliverables, activities, or tasks that can be assigned to an owner. The WBS window can be displayed either by going to Project and clicking WBS, or seeing the same icon on the left hand side and going to WBS here. Once in the WBS view, you will see that it has the same tabular functions as activities and projects. Creating WBS nodes also follows the same functionality as the activities and projects keys. You can either right click and press add, or you can go over to the add icon on the right hand side. Once creating a WBS, you'll see that the coding follows the code of the project and simply puts a point one on the end. Now once this WBS node is created, you can either add another WBS node by pressing add or add over here, but a quick tip is to press the insert key on your keyboard, which will insert a WBS node just below the level highlighted. Now as you can see, as I've created procurement, it has fallen under the WBS of milestones. To give procurement its own WBS level, you can either use the arrow keys on the right hand side or another quick tip is to hold down the control key and use the directional pads on the keyboard. Now, as I just create another WVS node underneath procurement, let's say construction, there you have a basic WVS structure. It's important to note that you can move WVS levels up and down. You can also do this on the keypad as mentioned before. To add WBS nodes underneath, for example, procurement, it follows the same structure as before. You can simply press the insert key, and let's say, for example, civils. And now underneath procurement, there is a civils WBS node, which follows the same coding structure as procurement itself. An important time-saving feature within the WBS view is a copy and paste feature. So, for example, if I copy civils and want to paste another one in construction, you can paste down. This dialog box will copy and paste WBS milestones and activities, if there are any in there, to the level below. It's important to know that this won't always be the structure of the WBS. This, for example, could be building A, building B. It doesn't have to follow the same structural pattern as my one. If we go into activity view, you will see that the WBS I've created is outlined with these nodes and further WBS levels underneath. What's key to note is this was achieved by using the group and sort function to WBS level 1. The colour codes you can change as you wish. Now although this is a basic WBS, I hope you found the basic functionalities we were hoping to achieve. If you would like a tutorial with further detail on, please comment below. Thank you.